Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this particular video, we'll be looking into the difference between DLT, that is distributed ledger technology, and blockchain technology. So I have listed the five most important difference between distributed ledger technology and blockchain. Let's have a look at it one by one. Before that, let me tell you that blockchain is a type of DLT. Distributed ledger technology is a broader technology when we compare it with blockchain. You can think it something like this. Blockchain is a type of DLT. So keep this thing in mind. And now let's start the difference between these two. So the very first difference is that blocks in distributed ledger technology are stored in different formats. Whereas in blockchain, we store the blocks in the form of chain. If you remember, we already have discussed how blocks are stored in blockchain. The blocks are stored in linear sequential manner. Whenever a new block has to be added, it will only be added at the end of the entire blockchain network. Every single block will be having its own unique identity that is nothing but nonce. And each current block will store the previous block's information so that it forms a chain of network. So I hope this thing is clear. But when we talk about DLT, it may or may not have the blocks in the form of chain. It can have the blocks stored in any format. The second difference is that DLT doesn't require any tokens or digital currencies. Whereas when we talk about blockchain, tokens must be considered. Now, when we talk about DLT, it is a broader technology that doesn't necessarily requires tokens or digital currencies. The consensus mechanism in distributed ledger technology is achieved through various mechanisms. For example, voting. Voting can be done to come to a common agreement or the participation of all the nodes. Now, it depends on the rules of ledger, how the rules are defined in the ledger technology. And that is why DLT can also operate without currency or tokens. But when we talk about blockchain, it uses tokens or digital currency as an integral part of its operation. These tokens help the node operator to support the network and provide the means for future investment in development. In blockchain, for example, Bitcoin and Ethereum, tokens or digital currencies can also serve as a medium of exchange within the blockchain network. The nodes can exchange these digital currencies among themselves to carry out certain tasks. And that is why tokens are an integral part of blockchain, whereas DLT doesn't require it. Now, when we talk about the third difference, DLT doesn't require any sequence of data. As we already have seen, the data can be stored in any format. That is nothing but the blocks can be arranged in any format. So sequence of data, even if it is not there, it doesn't make any problem. But when we talk about blockchain, blocks are arranged in a particular series. The series has to be maintained because every single current block is going to have the information of the previous block. So that particular series has to be maintained in blockchain technology. No doubt, both these technologies will have the ledger immutable. That means no changes can be done inside the data that is stored inside the network. The data is tamper proof. Do you want to check out these attractive funny memes? Then what are you waiting for? These are just a glimpse of the memes that I've created on my Instagram page. You can find the link to my Instagram handle in the description box. Please visit the link and do watch all these interesting funny memes. These are not just memes. These memes and reels contain technical information. Here, I try to relate memes with the technological concepts. So, please do appreciate that by watching all those. And if you love it, please hit the follow button. Now, remember one thing. DLT doesn't require the consensus mechanisms, for example, proof of work, which enables better scaling options. But if you remember in blockchain, the consensus mechanisms are required. For example, proof of work. Now, I already have given you a basic idea of how this proof of work consensus algorithm works in one of the previous videos. For executing this proof of work consensus algorithm, there is a requirement of a lot of computational power as well as it is so much expensive, which leads to scaling problems. More number of nodes may or may not be able to be a part of the blockchain network. Because 
because of this huge computational power requirement. But when we talk about DLT, it does not require such kind of consensus algorithm. That is why it offers better scaling options. Now, now in DLT, what kind of consensus mechanisms are actually executed? We are going to have a look at it in upcoming videos. One of them is voting. Now, in distributed ledger technology, the trust among participating nodes is very much high. Now, how exactly this trust is developed? It is developed because of the mechanism that it uses. But when we talk about blockchain technology, the trust among the participating nodes is less than the distributed ledger technology. And that is why it has to have the consensus mechanism so that every single node can reach to a common agreement. So now I hope the difference between DLT and blockchain is clear to you all. If you guys have any single doubt in this particular video, put it in the comment section. I'll be happy to solve it. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the bell icon. And follow me on Instagram for interesting memes as well as funny informative technical reads. If you have additional doubts, then you can join me on Telegram. Thanks for watching. Have a good day ahead.